Well, hoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and bring my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out the number one project on all of games and probably the number one project on all of Kickstarter, I'm going to guess. Yep, that is the Modular Gaming Table by Wormwood. This has already raised $1.5 million. The premier table is back and better than ever with more size accessories, wood, and features to fit your dot dot dot. And the fact that they are at 155% means they ask for a million dollars. They ask for a literal million dollars that's awesome and they hit it good for them uh so i see a table i see a dinner table i'm i'm not really amazed at all by the main image they get away with it because they're wormwood and they run kickstarters that are generally bangers but this main image i gotta say is pretty uninspiring i mean i want to check it out because it's number one and because it's wormwood but other than that meh I want to really want a table but money. Yeah, no joke. Mine is all homemade and folds down into a tall end table. Love my gaming table. I love my gaming table as well. It can accommodate 10 if it needs to. And uh, it was made by my uh, my best man, who, uh, rest in peace. And uh, we made that together. So it means a lot to me. It's already raised $1.5 million. 5,614 people have made this possible. And I see the main image zoomed in now. And I'm still very uninspired. It looks like an incredibly unassuming table but maybe that's the point maybe they want to start off by luring you into thinking oh this looks just like a regular table but then they're going to all of a sudden boom 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 magically transform this into something spectacular I bet that's what we're gonna see uh oh the premier table is back better than ever with more sizes accessory woods and features to fit your family home and lifestyle yeah i don't know as always let's get into this Lots of different wood, lots of different sizes. Make some room, just cut those, come on, shake what your mama made. Don't be shy, feel this high when we're dancing the night away. No more dance. <laughs> They're like, how can we sell people these tables? How can we how can we make good family people who have families? Husbands, wives, whatever, who have families. Say, yeah, dear, I want to spend a couple thousand dollars on a table. Not a vacation, not a little weekend getaway, a table. Uh, a gaming table. because You advertise it as something that's very multifunctional. I think this is really smart. I think this is really smart on their part. Like, this is interesting. <laughs> Transforms into dinner. All and, and I like that transition as well. It's like all the crap that was on the table, all the paperwork, all the this. I have three kids. One's a little baby. There is constantly just stuff on the table. What stuff is it? It's a toy sandal. It's something that needs signed that forgot to get signed. It's it's a toothbrush. It's a pill. It's whatever it is. And just being able to just shove that all underneath and just have it disappear for a dinner, I think that really appeals to a lot of people. I think that was a really good shot right there. I get it. Are you hosting? You want a hosting table? You got Christmas, you got Thanksgiving, we got compartments, we got this, we got that. That's really nice. This, I honestly, this feels much more like a tech Kickstarter. I cover a lot of, I used to cover a lot of tech Kickstarters before my daughter was born. I'll get back to that when she gets a little bit older. Uh, but one thing the tech Kickstarters do all the time is they will have this product and then they will, in the video, they will try and spotlight like five, six, seven, eight different type of people who specifically would want whatever they're selling and they would just say oh you can do this or you can do this and i feel like that's exactly what they're doing here so yeah maybe i don't have kids maybe that first part completely is unrelated to me but if i don't have kids then you know what i probably host people over like think about that if you don't have kids i feel like you're uh, either way love this i love that segue because i would not have thought this is a table that you could host people with but it's like yeah it is it's a table but it expands <laughs> Good on him. And now we get to the tabletop role-playing game. We got the GM screen set up right here. This feels much 
less like a ad for a specific project and more like, hey, have you been wanting to get one of our tables? Here's the Kickstarter to do it. And that's a really interesting idea. Because, like, what is new? What have I seen that is new here? I cannot, I don't know. Do you? I don't think you know either. It's just, it just feels like, hey. It feels like they're like, hey, opening up the inventory. What do you want? We're just, we're just coming back for more money, which good for them. They got a million bucks. The ultimate Lego table? I, w I really, I want to think about this for a second. The kind of person that would spend hundreds of dollars on a Lego set, I think would definitely coincide with the kind of person who'd spend a couple thousand bucks on a gaming table. I feel like they have really, I feel like this video is just everything to everyone so far. Kudos. <laughs> Miniatures gaming? Poker? Come on, really? <laughs> Puzzlers? Yeah, okay. We didn't even see one board game? Ice cold, Wormwood! You're not getting a Christmas card! I feel like that... I feel like we should have seen at least one really popular board game set up on something, but I guess... I guess that's already the bread and butter. We're already here, most likely, if you're a board gamer, I think. I don't think you're here specifically because you're a Lego enthusiast. You're like, oh, yes, the perfect Lego table I've been waiting for. The perfect puzzle table. Personal touch. Modger Game Table is back on Kickstarter. First time we were here, we blew the doors off the place. And you may be asking, why does everyone love the modular table so much? It's very simple. It's a dedicated space for that thing you wish you had space for. Whether that's your hobby, or your kid's schoolwork, or just whatever that is. Everyone has that thing that they wish they had space for. This table is the solution to that problem. I'm going to break down four or five different points that is going to be sort of a guide for you to join us on this Kickstarter. Number one, we have an enormous number of accessories for the table. They all attach magnetically to the inside and outside. One of the, of the 20 table. different. And we have a video Ooh. where we deep dive all of those accessories, which is linked to below. The second thing I want. Half point great bump up. I love it. I love it. I just love it. I want you to know about the worm modular. And, and this is the great thing about this. This is why I love it even more. When I see things that I absolutely love about Kickstarter and they're on huge projects like this, this means that other people who want to make money on Kickstarter are more likely to study projects like this in theory. You want to study the projects that are making millions of dollars, not the ones that are making tens of thousands of dollars. And, and so they'll see things they do here. And I, th I think it's good. I think it's good. I like it. Is that they are American made completely. We have two workshops, one in Massachusetts, one in Pennsylvania. Love this as well. I don't care. Personally, the Made in America, that's good as well. I love that you're spotlighting that. Great. Pound your chest, whatever. But the fact that you're specifically saying not only that they're made in America, but where you're making them in America. We have two separate factories. One here, one here. Um, Massachusetts, like, great. Great. And there are no middlemen between us and our customers. And I see people working in the factory. This is all great. Love this. So that means when you back this Kickstarter, you're directly supporting the craftsmen of this company. We have a video that deep dives the entire construction Ooh. process from raw lumber all the way to finished furniture that is linked to on the camera. Yeah, this is fantastic. If I'm going to spend $2,000 on a table, you think I'm going to watch that video so I can get a little more hyped? Yeah. Hell yeah, this is great. And it's like, it's all, we're spotlighting. We are essentially taking the video to get you excited about the product and then also spotlighting specific points in the story that you're going to want to check out. This is great. Kickstarter page. Let's talk about materials. 100% Howdy, Huckleberry. We have 12 different wood options and a variety of price points and aesthetics to match Ooh. your budget and your room. In this campaign, we're not dying or staining any of our woods. Meaning, when you order walnut, it means you're actually getting genuine walnut. If you're interested in some more resources where we deep dive. I love this. I have no idea what they're talking about, but if you do, they're going to dig deep into the woods. Like, that's great. The 12 different wood options. We have a video explaining that below. We have another video where we explain the durability, yes! the finish, and the Yes! Where we put the tables through a stress test that you should check out as well. 
After digesting all of this content, I'm assuming you're ready to back for a table. But you may not be totally familiar with the Kickstarter. Stronghold Games getting some love there. That was an interesting little, uh... Terraforming Mars a dice game. All right, cool. Table. But you may not be totally familiar with the Kickstarter platform, and that's okay. We've got a video that goes over the entire customer journey that lays out how you go from a pledge to a finished. So I'm going to guess they're doing some heavy advertising off site, like Kickstarter, Instagram, TikTok, wherever it may be. If they're taking the time to put this into their video, and this is fantastic, by the way, like. I hate that main image so much that I can't go A+, plus, but this is an A with a bullet so far. This video might be one of the best Kickstarter videos I think I've seen in quite some time. Um, just great. Top notch. Customer journey that lays out. Are these the dudes of Massachusetts? I do believe so. I think that's where there was their factory. was their two of their factories. How you go from one was two different places. to a finished table at your door. Oh, so slick. Let's talk about price. Our standard six-person dining room table with a topper. We're talking about prices in the video. I'm so happy right now. Comes in at $1,200. With our payment plans, that means you can have... We just dropped the word payment plans. $1,200. I know it sounds like a lot, but payment plans? And you say, well, $1,200 of payment plans. That's not so bad. Maybe I, maybe I could creep on up to $1,600 with some of my attachments. Woo! This is just masterfully crafted this table for $200 a month and if you back our Kickstarter you are they just got so deep in the weeds on the price and I love it not only did they tell me the price of the base but they also told me about how the price of if I want to do the the, the payment plan that's fantastic Free cup holders with a table order. Come on, get out of here. Are also going to get a free set of cup holders. Awesome. If you are interested in getting a gaming table but you're not interested in backing this Kickstarter, you should join our mailing list. It I, it's, just, it's a coffee table? Like, you, ah, it's a coffee. It's so pretty. Will be available for sale on the website as soon as the Kickstarter ends. I want to thank the tens of thousands of backers that have supported our company throughout the years. Humble brag. We've literally built 10,000 of these tables over the last. Humble brag. Nothing wrong with it. Respect. <laughs> Effing chairs. I'll be right back. On behalf of the backers, I want to say answer that phone <laughs> and tell everyone how they're going to treat you. So thank you for coming Cheers on coming this journey soon. with us, wherever you are in this. So that sounds like a tease for either something that's going to unlock during the campaign or a stretch goal. Just, just top-notch video. Crazy here. world. Stay safe. Wrapped in under well, five minutes. And game on. And if I have the disposable <laughs> income, that's all. My questions are answered. Do I want it? Yeah, yeah, I do. Just period. I feel like they covered the game, but they didn't even show the board game aspect of it because I imagine that's where the majority of the people who are going to back this are. They don't need to. They focus on everything else because their reputation. Whew. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. They mentioned 10,000 tables, 10,000 backers, two factories, yada, yada, yada. Very professionally done video. Top notch. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? Price. You know, it's a, it's a gaming table. It's going to be massively expensive. You already know that. But jalop okay Wormwood is going from so no collaborators here that's interesting uh Wormwood is going from three friends in a small workshop to a thriving community of dedicated craftspeople who create thoughtful accessories for your favorite rpgs and board games and expert oh, board games you do board game stuff and actually craft firms and stuff thanks uh let's check out the previous projects a dice series get into the dice the modular desk that was the one that didn't happen the game master screen the rpg tracking kit corrupted tarot just the hags asshole. So how many of these are out? That's what we're checking here. Oh my golly, there's so many. All right, so this one uh, is this one out. The dice. There is three hundred eighty-four thousand dollars on dice. Good for them. The modular desk. This one did not happen. There is two point two million dollars, and they they needed three million dollars. That's. <sighs> I love this. That's like a real number. Like, hey, yeah, if we're going to do this, we actually need to make $3 million. And they didn't get it. And that's, I. but still, taking that swing, I got no issues with that. That's fantastic. That brings you into a whole new sector of the market. Uh, the game screen. Let's make sure this one is out. RPG tracking. Make sure this one is out. Oh, my goodness. Updates aren't working. Okay. Here we go. Backer kit is locked to charge. What now? This is February 15th. Less than uh, So this one is not out yet. Comments. 
Uh, Mid-February fulfillment update. It's February 5th. Let's take a look at how fulfillment is going. First, there's big news. We've launched our long-awaited follow-up. Your regularly scheduled update on fulfillment follows below. Uh, launched on Kickstarter in 2020 and became the most successful. So, yeah, I get it. Mid-February update. Key takeaways. I've been working with colleagues to deep dive for fulfillment service. Discovered a couple of bugs that were impacting the project. Just have people got their stuff. That's all I want to know. The modular desk was amazing looking with how it worked. Yeah, I kind of wish I would have covered that. That sounds fascinating to me. Uh, love being able to pin stuff now. For anyone looking for information on their way of the process, will show which month they're in. Find your backer kits. So I see good customer service here. Four days ago, four days ago. Okay. Uh, everyone, while it's a close project, we are no longer actively monitoring comments. I did want to pop in and respond. We're looking at the possibility of offering these on the website in the future. So yeah, people have gotten their stuff. I see these guys, I see them at conventions all the time. I'm going to say, yeah, I feel comfortable with the can you do it. You know, plus they got, they got one and a half million dollars. So we're good. I feel like we're good here. Can you do it? Yes. Do I want it? Yes. How much is it? Yes. So just hopefully we have a fun pledge area. Like that's all I'm looking for. I want a fun shopping experience now. The groundbreaking table is back. Perfect for every day. Uh, what is this? The module is just, this feels like jalop here. Uh, available wood details everyone know about the wood. so no these are these are the things uh all modular table accessories the dozen accessories find yours here um hopefully they're still on the the here as well they're t so here we go so it's a we have oh this is great the simplest accessory. oh fantastic clicks in the rail you put some spell cards for rpgs the amount of hate we're gonna can use the same dice tray and everybody has a little it is a 17 minute video spotlighting each and every one of them yes please i almost wish this was just on the kickstarter page as opposed to being clicking away but still it's there uh choose your length k choose height got it i, I hate how this is organized here uh, okay, let's, let's focus. Two people, four people, six to eight, eight to ten, six people. Uh, ooh, different heights. Okay, good. What makes a modular gaming table different? Topper system. So now, uh, like, hey, I get it. Stuff. This is all good stuff. Accessories. Cup holder. I'm seeing stuff. Things. Nested. Accessories. Contour to let you stack cup holders and con to make them things. So you're just throwing everything at me. Cool. Tracker accessory. It's all in the video, too, so I can't even complain. The video is up higher, so I can't, like... If you want to watch the video, which I imagine is what most people are probably going to do, if they're, they're really thinking about getting this table, seeing it in person. More to love. Wet erase markers are an essential tool for DMs everywhere. What? Okay, here we go. What does the star mean? Limited time wood options. Ooh, poison wood. That sounds cool. The, the color mat, trust and reliability. Pricing. Here we go. Now, this was up here earlier. The click here to build your table also wasn't it. So I can't even knock it for being low because it was right there. Here's the thing, though. That's that's just so foreign to me as a Kickstarter backer. Let's go. Let's make our table. See exactly how this works. Because is it going to send me... Am I going to make my table? Is it going to send me, send me specifically to... Back to Kickstarter. I'm just fascinated. All right. So what... If I could get my dream table. Let's go. How do I do this? Uh, so I want... I want I want the big one. High name. Yeah. We want the tallest table. Boom. Counter. That's a thing? wow uh okay sure eight to ten yep that's where my table's at right now that thing is massive oh my gosh wide can you make it a hex okay this is fun i'm already having fun <laughs> all right so what do i do next uh six is so fourteen hundred and twenty five dollars okay is that the biggest table so how many i get I don't, oh this is this is interesting okay oh so felt yeah we gotta have felt get blue for Bowers game topper accessories oh this is where we and then we got all the accessories the card holder okay ninety dollars oh wow and it zooms in on exactly what it's going to look like that is gorgeous this is so cool yes i agree poker chip holder and i get to see what it looks like oh my gosh i want it in this color this is is a premium product and this aside from you know some, some, some wigglies here with the, the scrolling and whatnot feels like a premium way to buy said product universal hangers like this is all right so i'm done let's just let's get back i'm, I'm i've ogled enough there's my table i'm finished uh and then i then i go here and then what do i do a copy paste here we go control v what happened did it work? I don't think it worked. What did I do? I broke it. 
I broke the thing. God, this is why I don't... Okay, finish. We're finished. I'm getting this. Pledge it on Kickstarter. What? That didn't help. Uh, this, this is awesome. I will say this is awesome. But, uh, I guess, yeah. I, but here's the bottom line. Now I know the price. So I really can't knock it. I can come back to this page, open it up. Okay, that's cool. And they also have to work within whatever poss whatever uh, Kickstarter will allow them to do. Like, not, like, stopping them from doing it, but, like, technical limitations. Like, GameFound has less technical limitations, I feel, than Kickstarter. All right, so, uh, then we got this stuff. All pales in comparison to what I just saw, which was the future. It's beautiful. Uh, click here to build your table. Flat rate shipping. Wow! <coughs> now this, this is the, this is, aside from the main image, I think this is the first, uh, one of the first missteps I see here. I think this is spotlight. I think this is 100% on the marquee, starting, you know, 199. Was, you, you let me know in some way, shape, or form that the most I'm going to pay for shipping is 200 bucks. That's fantastic. And in Canada, too, no less. Canada. Big ups, Canada. Get on in there. That's spectacular. Mm. Getting a 10 foot. Woo. All right. Accessories only. So 1,200 people returning who love the thing originally. And this is great. Once again, I go back to that main image, which I hated. I thought it was a terrible main image. But I wanted to check it out because it raised $1.5 million. And that's because, you know, they're essentially opening up all the accessories to all the people who, the 10,000 backers who already had a table. <whistles> nice. Uh, the modular gaming table, wave 11. So you get them in different waves because obviously, and then it's just custom order. Wave zero. And you got, and it's like the, like, I got to get on it now. So I'll get my table in May, 2024 instead of June, 2023 and July. 20. So, oh my golly. It's like a built in, uh, stretch goal th or not stretch goal. It's like a built in, um, early bird. Like I want my table earlier. I got to back it now. Even if I just, even if I just put the, uh, the, the, the minimum pledge in and uh, wow. Cause whew, that's FAQ. Oh, it's so ugly. It's so ugly. Oh, my gosh. So my question is question 38. I have to sift through 38 other questions to get to it. Go to Reload from Colossal Games and copy how they do their FAQ. This is an absolute abysmal eyesore, and it's not fun at all to go look in the FAQ. Okay, updates. Day one funded. 1976. Things backers need to know. Kickstarter. Customer journey. Hello. Across 22. Number two, to reserve a table spot is 200. So it's a clean, clear, what's going on. Deep, the wood deep dive, new accessories. I don't know what that is, but it looks fancy. Makes you want to click on it. It's a nice thumbnail. The table is indestructible. Look at this thumbnail. Woo! Stepping up the thumbnail game. Huckleberry gave it an A++++. plus plus plus. Plus, <laughs> I see near pre Matt's list on the campaign page. You can find any other information. When will payment plans order begin being charged? So no response here. I'd definitely get in on here. And this is once again why I was like raising my eyebrow like, ooh, nobody in the customer service? Because Jalop ain't doing shit. Like Jalop's not helping. Pardon my French. I hate Jalop just on a personal level. I have a bitter hatred towards them. But they're not going to help in the customer service aspect in your updates and comments. Uh, did, so let's see what their last big project. Because I could, I don't, I feel like the last ones they had collaborators. I'm just curious. No, no, never mind. Okay, okay, but that's that's still a lot of customer service there for one person. So final grade on this one. Uh, do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? Uh, what are the dimensions of the interior, the hobby vaults, weight, weight, uh, would you consider opening up the ebony for the table and not just the accessories? Very excited about backing this project. Do you think the timeline this time around will be somewhat more accurate? Uh, how would, yeah. Once again, it's, it's hard to respond to all these because there's only one person and there is thousands of people who are very interested and invested in this campaign, more so than your typical campaign. You know, if you're spending $80 on a game versus $1,200 plus shipping, you know, looking at $1,500 or whatever for the table, let's not beat around the bush. Let's give it a grade. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? It's expensive, but you already knew that. But the shopping is fun. The shipping caught my eye. Like, I feel like shipping should have been mentioned. I feel like... I feel like this is one of those examples where... Like, on IGN, I'll say, we gave something a 10. But a 10 is never a perfect game. Nothing is perfect. I'm gonna go with an A on this. I can't... I, like, that main image, I hate it so much. I hate it with, with to my core. 
But I'm going with an A on that. You know what? A plus. I'll fudge it. A plus. I'll go with an A plus. No, no. That $99 shipping, 100 I'm going to go with an A. I feel like that shipping should definitely be higher because that shipping is a, that shipping's great. Uh, and they did. So look at that. That's a fantastic number. What's that? Like 9% new people. Good for them. Kudos. B plus from Sean. All right. More grounded. I, I guess I just saw the future. I've made my table right in front of me. Like, that's so cool. Uh, but let me know in the comments below, what is your final grade for the modular gaming table by Wormwood? And as always, if you're enjoying the content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button as I'm trying to reach 17,000 subscribers in 2023 to make it my biggest year ever. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.